Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the pumpkin spice beanie which you can see here in the photo before you as well as if you head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com you'll be able to see a few more photos of it there as well. You'll also find the free written crochet pattern for this video and uh, I'll provide the direct link for you in the description of this video. So this is the pumpkin spice beanie. It is a beautiful cozy beanie made with a bulky weight yarn. In the video today I am using the Karen Swirl Cakes in the color Gold Fusion as you can see here it is a uh, it's a roving yarn that's 77% acrylic and 30% wool you can substitute uh, this yarn for another bulky weight yarn you may need to adjust your stitch counts a little bit and uh, when you come to that point I will uh, just give you a heads up in the video you're going to need approximately 125 yards of your super uh, of your bulky weight yarn so about one half of the Karen swirl cake you're also going to need an eight millimeter crochet hook and uh, again I'll provide links in the description of the video for both of these items so thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and uh, thank you so much for watching Our pumpkin spice beanie is worked from the bottom up. So we're going to start by crocheting our brim, which is worked in rows. We're going to start by making a slip knot and then make a foundation chain of a total of nine chains. Once you have your foundation chain of nine chains, working into the back bumps of your chain, you're going to, into the second chain from your hook, work one slip stitch. Now for this brim, if you prefer not to work the slip stitches, you can work this brim substituting those slip stitches for single crochet or half double crochet. I'm going to use slip stitches to the today. So slip stitch or single crochet or half double crochet into that first or into that second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. So you're going to have a total of eight stitches. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work into the back loops only. So if you take a look at the tops of your stitches, you see these nice V's. This is my chain stitch here, and then my first stitch, you have these V's up here. We're going to work in the back loop only, which is the horizontal bar of the V that is the furthest away from you. So you're only going to work under that loop. So after you've chained one, you turn your work, you're going to work under that back loop only, and you're going to slip stitch, or single crochet, or half double crochet, all the way across. Again, you're going to have a total of eight stitches. At the end, there's a knot there, I'm just going to keep going, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you're going to repeat that last row. So working in the back loop only, slip stitch all the way across. This is how you're going to work your brim. You're going to repeat that row until your brim measures approximately 16 to 17 inches. I found that it had quite a bit of stretch so work it to 16 or 17 inches or the desired size 
and uh, and um, just make sure you don't make it too long otherwise when you stretch it out it will be too loose so work it to about 16 to 17 inches and then meet me back here and uh, we'll join those two ends together once you have your 16 to 17 inches worked and that's not stretched out so when you stretch it it will have quite a bit of stretch once you have your 16 to 17 inches worked you're going to take your fabric and you're just going to fold it over like so and we're going to crochet these two short ends together so after you have finished your final row there you're going to chain one and you're going to insert your hook into the back loop only of that piece of fabric that's closest to you and then over to the other side into the other fabric other end you're also going to insert your hook into the back loop only you're then going to slip stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way across so back loop only of the side closest to you back loop only of the other side and slip stitch across this is going to crochet those two ends together and then we will be ready to start the body of our hat you will have eight slip stitches all the way across once you come to the end you can chain one and you're going to turn your brim so that it's right side out you want that right side facing you and you can see your seam is over here okay now we're going to start working the brim of our hat and we're going to be working around this rough edge you've chained one you're now going to work 50 half double crochet stitches evenly all the way around so if it helps you're, you can place a stitch marker about halfway around you're going to want 25 on one side and 25 on the other but just try to space them out evenly when I work my stitches into the tops because there's no clean places to put my hook I'm just coming down a little bit into the brim and working that half double crochet stitch so just come down a little bit, insert your hook into the brim and work all the way around. So you'll want a total of 50 at the end. You can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. now I neglected to mention at the beginning of this round if you want to change the size of your hat in this round that you just worked of the half double crochet stitches you can uh, use any multiple of two stitches so you'll just want a multiple of two uh, half double crochet stitches all the way around your brim once you have come all the way around you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch as we are working in rounds you do not need to turn your work and you'll chain one we're now going to work a round of single crochet stitches but we're going to work those single crochet stitches into the third loop so in your half double crochet stitch this is the front of it if you turn it inward and look at the back of your stitch you will see that you have this top bar that you normally work under and then you can see another bar there just underneath so this one right here that is your third loop if you are having trouble finding that third loop there is another video here on my youtube channel under the crochet stitches um, uh, playlist and that gives you uh, the information about the third loop in more detail so we're going to be working into this third loop again 
this is the front so you're just going to pull it forward and you're going to look for that second horizontal bar and you're going to work a single crochet stitch you're going to single crochet in the third loop all the way around so always working under that one loop and what you will see happen as you are working into that third loop is that it will push the top of your stitches forward and you will get this textured knit look appearance coming through on your stitch. So single crochet in the third loop all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. At the end of your round two, you're going to join with the slip stitch into that top of the first stitch. We're now going to work the first of our puff stitch rounds. So once again, do not turn your work and for row, round three, you're going to chain one. Skip that first stitch that you joined in and into the next stitch, work your first puff stitch. To work the puff stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You're going to do that a total of four times. So there's one, insert your hook into the same stitch, there's two, three, and four. Once you have all your loops on your hook, yarn over and draw your hook through all of those loops on your hook. And that is your puff stitch made. You're then going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and repeat. So puff stitch into the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch four times. There's one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, draw through all the loops on your hook, chain one, skip one, and repeat. You're going to do that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round three, you'll have chained one and you're just going to slip stitch into the top of your first stitch there. For round four, you're going to chain one. Next, you're going to work a half double crochet stitch into that same stitch as joining. Then half double crochet into the top of your puff stitch and half double crochet into the space between the puff stitch and the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. So working a half double crochet into the top of each puff stitch and into each chain space all the way around. When you come to the end, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. At the end of your round four, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Now what you're going to do uh, for rounds five through to nine is you're going to repeat your rounds two to four. So your single crochet round in the third loop, your puff stitch round, and your half double crochet round. You're going to repeat that once more. So that's the next three rounds. And then you're going to repeat round two and three once more. So uh, that's your single crochet and your puff stitch. So that's for rounds five through to nine. Repeat rounds two to four and then rounds two to three once more. Once you have completed that, meet me back here and we will start 
the decrease for the top of our hat. At the end of round nine, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. So you will now have worked three rounds total of puff stitches and you will have ended on a puff stitch round. We're now going to start the first of our decrease rounds and you're going to chain one. This is going to be a half double crochet round so you'll work a half double crochet into the same stitches joining, a half double crochet into the top of your puff stitch, and a half double crochet into the chain space. Your next stitch is going to be a half double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the top of the puff stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Insert your hook into the next chain space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four loops. That's your half double crochet two together. We're now going to repeat working three half double crochet stitches, so one in the top of the next puff stitch, one in the chain one space, and one in the top of the next puff stitch, and then work a half double crochet two together. One leg in the chain space, and one leg into the top of the puff stitch. Repeat all the way around three half double crochet stitches and a half double crochet two together. When you come to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of your round 10, you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Our next round, round 11, is another decrease round. You're going to chain one and you're going to work your round of single crochet stitches in the third loop only. This time, working a single crochet in the third loop only into each of the first two stitches and then a single crochet two together. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Single crochet in the third loop only in each of the next two stitches and single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around and when you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of your round 11, you'll join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For your round 12, we're now going to work another round of puff stitches. This time you're going to chain one. You're going to work your first puff stitch into that next stitch. But this time do not chain one in between. So complete your puff stitch by drawing your loop through all the loops on your hook, then skip the next stitch and immediately work another puff stitch into the next stitch. Draw your loop through all the loops on your hook, skip the next stitch and immediately work your next puff stitch. So in this round there is no chains in between each of these puffs. You're going to continue that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round 12, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first puff stitch. For your round 13, you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet two together 
all the way around. So this time when you do your half double crochet two togethers, you're working into the tops of each of these puff stitches and you're just going to simply work them all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Round 14 is your final round. You're going to chain one and looking at those third loops you're going to work single crochet two together all the way around in the third loop only. So insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. So work those single crochet two togethers all the way around to the opening at the top is probably getting a little bit tight I should have one more here nope oh, that's actually all the way around so there's one single crochet there and then you're just going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You can then go ahead, fasten off, leaving a little bit of a long tail. You're then going to take your yarn needle and sew the top of your hat closed. Now to sew my hats closed, I simply thread the yarn onto my needle. I weave the yarn in and out through the top round of stitches, like so. I turn my hat inside out. and then pull closed and when you pull closed it will pull that opening I like to secure it with a little knot there on the inside before weaving in my ends you can go ahead then and weave in any other ends that might be lying around turn your hat right side out then you can either go with a pom-pom or without uh, use a faux fur one or handmade one of your choice and that's the pumpkin spice beanie so thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe check out some of the other video tutorials there and I look forward to seeing you again happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.